Hi guys, here at this channel we relearn how to eat like a healthy thin person. That's what it's all about, healthy thin mentality. And one of the things that you're doing wrong when you're trying to build your healthy thin mentality or if you're new to this channel, if just when you're trying to lose weight, is you disregard the importance of hunger and specifically when you when you feel hungry, you have in your head how much food it's going to take to satisfy you. So that's a lot of that is habit driven. Like, well, when I eat lunch and I'm kind of hungry for lunch, I eat this much food. You need to disengage that autopilot that you, your, your conscious self is at your brain. Like, oh, this is how much I eat at lunch. What do you eat for lunch? Well, I eat this and this and this. Okay. Being a healthy, thin mentality person involves pulling back from that and saying, I don't know how much I'm going to need. I'm going to let my body tell me. And I know that sounds super simple and super, super like, okay, well, if it were that easy, but it is, but we are so trained to ignore that, that we overeat thinking where that it's a reasonable amount for our bodies. But one of the big secrets, and I'm going to tell you this, and I don't want you to get sad when you hear this, you need less food than you think you just do. But when you're a dieter, like I was for 25 years, and I've been a healthy, thin mentality person for 20. When you're a dieter, you're never eating normally. You're always dieting or in between diets. And when you're in between a diet, you're just thinking about the next diet. So you're, you're eating more. You're, you're eating because of the future diets. You're just saying, well, I'm not on a diet now, so I might as well. So you forget what, how much food actually your body asks for because you're always out of whack. You're never just in that nice state of just not gaining and not losing. Now, I know you want to lose weight, but I'm just trying to explain to you why you're so disconnected from that. So every time you start to feel hunger and you're like, oh, like if you're like me, which I, I hope you can copy this part of my behavior, you get really excited. You're like, oh, great. I get to eat soon because hunger is your cue to eat. Nothing else, not the clock, not because your friends are eating, not because you're making food for your kids, nothing else. It's your own hunger. You own that. And if you think, well, I always nibble when I make food for my kids, I know you'll get over that because that's just a habit. And what you're building here instead is, is a healthy thin mentality where that as a joyful thing fades away when, hey, when my own hunger is ignited, I get to eat what I want. So all of a sudden just taking some scraps from somebody else, even if it's your own kid or whatever, you're like, no, I don't want that. You, 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 you will resist eating without hunger when you reconnect with how great it is to eat with hunger. And if you're saying, and I can hear you, oh, I'm always hungry. No, you're not. You think you are. No, you're not. Mother nature is way better than that. You're just confused by the signals your body is sending. So every time you eat, don't predetermine how much you're going to eat. Say, I'm going to put this on my plate. I'm going to see how I feel. Maybe I'll need more. Most likely you'll need less. You know, if you've just gotten in a habit of how much you put on your plate. And, um, if you, if you, that's making you feel like, Oh no, she's telling me I've got to eat a lot less. No, I'm telling you, you have to connect with hunger and, in, and you're not connecting with, with my hunger or my healthy thin mentality. You're making yours and you will be different than everybody else. But the key uniter is that instead of your conscious brain going, okay, you're going to eat this, this, you, what does my body want? And sometimes, like I'll give you a quick example for me to try to, try to model this for you. Um, yesterday, I woke up hungry, unusual for me. And I felt really hungry, like, oh, I've got to eat something before I leave. And because I know myself, and I've been doing this a long time, um, and you will get here, you guys will get here because I've been doing this a long time, but this particular behavior kicks in, you know, soon, early, if you're paying attention, I said, oh, I'm just going to eat these, these cookies. I'm going to have some cookies. Cause I know guys, I'm perfectly healthy and eat nutritiously, but sometimes you want a cookie in the morning with your coffee. So delicious. And I had two and I just said, okay, could this be enough? And I'm going to tell you the calorie count. So you know how big they were. Cause they weren't big. They were um, two of them were 140 calories. Okay. So what my point is that I ate those and I even, I was surprised. Wow. That was really it. That's all. Now my, I'm feeling calm. I don't know why. Again, I don't care. I always say that. I don't care. All I'm doing is listening. And then I got on with my day 
And this is why in our workbook, I say a really important thing is that you always have emergency food with you because I could leave my house having had coffee and those two little cookies feeling, even though I had been pretty feeling really hungry, feeling, okay, I I think I feel good because I don't want to spend my hunger on that, you know, I just don't want to spend, you know, you only get a certain amount of hunger every day. I don't think about spending calories. I go, I want to save my hunger for like, I was kind of rushing out the door. I didn't really want it to be like that. I wanted to have hunger later when I knew I was going to have lunch with a friend. And I just wanted that to, I wanted my hunger alive then. So, but I didn't want to feel bad, right? So I ate those two cookies and I was okay. Yeah, I think I can go. But again, back to what I say in the workbook, I have food in my car. So if I get in a spot where I don't feel good, I'm like, you know, I really wish I'd eaten more. I can eat more. Uh, right now I have these little nuts and raisin things. That's like a little snack pack. Really good. And it just, that's why I say always have emergency food with you. So you don't feel like you need to eat preventatively because you're going to get stuck in a situation where you can't satisfy your hunger, which is no fun. Okay. So as you're, as you're here, stick with me. Let me keep showing you how to do this. And I, I, there's nothing better you can do for yourself. I mean, there probably is, maybe, I don't know. But having a normal, healthy, happy relationship with food and eating is a primordial requirement for you to kind of be, you know, I don't want to say you're not happy if you're not like that, but boy, it really increases happiness because if you're dysfunctional with food, that's a big deal. It's like if you were dysfunctional with breathing, right, that'd be a big deal. This is a big deal. Take the energy that you need to reacquaint yourself with you and what your body actually needs, respecting that and not being a rigid dieter. And I'm not telling you to only eat two cookies if you're really hungry. That's not my message. My message is I'm keyed into me. You need to key in to you, you know? And and if you're a a, a large man, you're going to need more food, obviously. Or if you're a larger woman, you're going to need more food. Or if you're younger, I mean, I'm like an older, small lady. I mean, I'm needless. So don't let that shock you. That's just who I am. But who you are is going to be who you are, right? And you need to key into her or him in order to do this. It's really important and it's really joyful and it's really fun. And it's not really miserable like dieting is. I don't care what you say. You know, it's no fun to wake up and go, oh, this is what I'm eating today. Okay. Mm. Oh, and I'm going to do this workout. Stop Make, don't be a kindergartner. Grow up here. You take charge of your food and your workout and more workout videos are out there. But anyway, all right, guys, have a great day. You can do this. If I can, you can. Believe me, biggest diet mentality I had. Ugh. I'm so glad I don't have that anymore. Please, I want that for you. I really do. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon, okay? Have a great day. Every, you know, there's always another eating opportunity right around the corner. We're lucky like that. I'll talk to you soon.